Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Hawk Control. What about it? Why? Why is it, why is it important? Okay, well, in order for you to control your Hawks better, make keeping them alive, and of course, using them at their maximum potential. So, make sure to subscribe. If you're new to my channel, smash the like button, turn on the notification to all notifications so you're not going to miss an upload or stream from my channel. So, what, uh, the key important things that you need to be aware of if you're going to be a professional or if you wanted to be or dreaming of a being an aviator, you need to upgrade your Hawk, okay? So, what is the best upgrade for you to do for Hawks? First, the HP, as it will increase the speed and the, you know, like its maneuverability midair. What do I mean by that? Upgrading the HP makes it turn around faster. And makes it faster in general. Makes it tankier as well, as it will have more health points. Second is the armor. Armor will of course keep it alive, but as it will be more durable, tanking those anti-air shots from the Confederation. And then of course, fuel. Advanced fuel system, it will make it fly longer periods of time. So, upgrading this increases the fuel. Not only that, it reduces fuel consumption. Next is for you to upgrade this aircraft missile system reload time. Okay, now, um, if you upgrade this, you will have less reload time, meaning it can fire missiles faster. Raptor aircraft missile. What does this do is it is the missile that launches after your Hawk attack. So, for missile launches attack, it will increase the range of that missile uh, range, and then, of course, increase the damage that it can deal. Next up is the fuselage coaxial cannon. Now, what this do is make it faster to reload, okay, for the machine guns, as this baby has two, yeah, mm -hmm, you heard it, two weapons, okay. Fire accuracy, make it more accurate, moving targets, and accuracy overall, and reload faster. This one right here will be the last one for me to do, for you to, or recommend for you to upgrade, as of course it will dish out more damage and so on. And then of course, this one, as it will increase the accuracy of all weapon systems, especially this one right here and this one. Okay. So, here are the max stats of rank 26 Hawk, so kindly enjoy yourselves. <laughs> All right. Now, second thing is for you to be aware of the factory. Avia factory, you need level 2 for the Hawk, as you guys can see right here. And then, of course, you need the advanced hangar system to produce Hawks faster, or in general, Avia in general. All Avia. Third, that you need to be aware of, is the airfield. More HP means you can upgrade the refuel time faster. What this means is that when your Hawks are docked here, they can refuel faster after emptying it, and then, of course, fly faster. Fly, yeah, they can fly again. This one is very, very important as it will maintain or, well, repair your Hawks faster. I normally use recovery boost to, you know, speed up the process of recovery of the HP. Avoiding losing a hawk whenever they have low HP. Very important upgrade for me. Okay? So, yeah. Let's go jump, st jump straight to how, how you can improve to use the hawk. Oh, how the hell would that be available? How would I do that, Tracy? Well, let's go. Okay, here we go. So, for this, um... We already have an airfield, so let's go back to basics here real quick. So HQ level 3, you will be allowed to build one airfield. HQ level th uh, 4, you will be allowed to build three airfield housing a maximum of 12 Hawks. For the Avia Factory, level 3 HQ will allow you to have one level 2 Avia Factory. A level 4 HQ will allow you to have two Avia level 2 factory. For HQ level 5, you'll be allowed to have more than 3 airfields and up to 4. Well, that's how many you can, <laughs> okay? 
level 2 avia factory so for the purpose of this guide video we're going to be using hawks now um hawks are more diverse than that of the vertex trust me the reason being is its secondary weapon but first let's go dive straight into how you can use them okay so for this we're going to be having that airfield right around there we're going to have to produce four more hawks but let's show you the importance of having an airfield grouped together. As you guys can see, I have one right here, but it is still close enough for me. Okay? So having a group of airfield together will allow your hawks to fly in the group as well. Okay? So, let's attack this power plant. Uh, no, this supply center. Okay? So they'll be attacking in groups. And then you move away. See? They'll be attacking in groups. Okay. Now, notice that there are some buildings and stuff that was destroyed here. Oh, and... Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. I kind of wish that I placed it somewhere else. Like, for example, right around here. Yeah, let's make it that way. Okay, so, again, that's how you use a hawk. If they're grouped together in an airfield, they'll be firing at the same target much more often that than they wouldn't. Okay, because most of, or, yeah, most of them are placed in the same location. Alright, so, here are some advanced tips that you can do. So, one hawk first, attack the same target. And have the rest attack. So this hawk will go first. Take tanking all the anti-air that your enemy has. There you go. And then you retreat. Now if this is still alive, they'll keep firing at it as long as it is within range. Keeping the rest of the hawk safe. Because they'll only all the anti-air will fire at one unit. Okay? Now let's go over here. Let's destroy this one right here. Now what happens if you group your hawks? Like say for example, you do have 20 uh, hawks right here and then the fourth, uh, the 24th hawk is there. If you attack, it will look like this. If you have a, if you don't build your airfield, um, you know, near each other, they'll be attacking. Well, yeah. See what I mean? This four right here did not even bother firing the machine gun. See? They didn't even do that. That's why it is recommended for you to group them and then have them go, uh, you know, have them go attack a similar target. But you can also go this route. For Hawks, you need a minimum of six to kill a single power plant. That is, given that it is not maxed out. Okay? So you group them. And then, of course, another group. So I'll have six, 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 six. Okay. So what you can do in this scenario is you can actually go attack. Okay. Four different targets at the same time. Okay. And then you select the unit button here. The arrow pointing outwards just below the four hawk groups. You see? Haha! <laughs> you see? They'll all retreat at the same time. Okay, so that's four buildings at the same time being destroyed. That is the importance of grouping a hawk. Now, that this works better as a resistance than that of a confederation. The reason being is that if you're using this against a confederation, you can have multiple hawks, groups of hawks, target multiple units at the same time. Okay, and then have them all retreat at the same time as well by pressing this button. Okay, so again, we're going to have to do the other thing. What do I mean by other thing? Group them all together. So I have all 24 Hawks right here. Now, 
how do you spread them so they're not going to be clumped up and be taken out all at once you can actually lessen that chance from happening but they'll not they will not be firing all at the same time now this is where the machine guns comes in as if you have 24 hawks the machine guns will act really really effective especially those unintended targets there'll be collateral damage so in order for you to spread them out you need to press the second button in between the patrol and then the change here or select an airfield relocation etc you need to press the button where it shows an arrow pointing upwards above that jet okay so press this there you go and then click on the target so see they're not they're spread out right <laughs> they're very much spread out okay and then you rain rampage around here and then you just spam yeah and most of the time you'll be accidentally pressing at a hawk right there oh we don't want to destroy all buildings as of course it will end the battle so yeah i mean just just imagine if your opponent doesn't have any upgrade or doesn't have maxed out buildings if you have a maxed out machine gun and a and the missile for your hawk then not only they'll survive for uh you know so survive better because they'll be spread out just like what i showed you okay they'll be spread out and those machine guns will act as a collateral damage risk taking stuff okay yeah the machine guns doesn't really deal that much damage to armor level 3 but the sheer amount of hawks make it possible to for you to kill buildings that are not really intended okay even units that are not intended will be destroyed uh even a zeus or a typhoon or whatever they'll be killed as the machine guns will fire at anything that it gets in range uh that gets in range with the machine gun okay so again press the arrow uh you know the the jet with an arrow pointing upward press that and then you can just have them patrol right here they'll be spread out and yeah see they're spread out <laughs> and this is the true power of the hawks now again you it is only advisable for you to do this if you have 12 plus hawk okay 12 hawks above for me i set it my general standards to have 16 hawks above that's why at some battles i go hq level 5 straight because i need my hawks to be at that critical mass where the machine guns will deal insane amount of damage apart from the missile or my intended target okay so yeah that's the importance of the machine guns for me at least for me and that's how you normally use a hawk and where i practice such things is ai or skirmish battle i practice hawk control there i practice micro control there and i deliberately do that each time i go ai that's why i have better hawk control than that of vertex control all right so yeah that's gonna be all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to subscribe smash the like button and turn on the notification to all notifications so you're not going to miss an upload or stream from my channel. Likewise, thank you for watching, have yourself a great day, and good luck with your battle. Bye-bye!